The vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Senator Yusuf Darty Baba Ahmed, says it is not certain if there was a massacre at the Lekki Toll Gate in Lagos State on October 2022. Ahmed disclosed this on Thursday on China's television program Politics Today. According to him, the use of massacre during the October 2022 event is highly debatable. There was abuse of procedure if some people intercept that as massacre, the use of massacre in answers is highly debatable, but I can say for sure there were abuses of procedures and civil rights violations, he said. He added that it was heavy to say that the Labour Party was a beneficiary of the answers protest. Ahmed said, it is very heavy statement to make of saying that our party, Labour Party, is a beneficiary of answers, while we are always on the side of the people, on side of good. We are against repression and all those. You may be more correct to put it in another way, but we are not direct beneficiaries of answers. The use of the word massacre is highly debatable. We never wanted answers to happen. We never want any Nigerian whatsoever to be attacked. Accordingly, we are not happy for anybody to say we are beneficiaries of answers. We benefit from a peaceful Nigeria. That is what we benefit from. We benefit from progress and development. We are about correcting all the mistakes of bad governance. Sahara reporters had reported that soldiers on October 20, 2022, opened fire on the protesters who had converged at the Lekki Toll Gate to protest against police brutality. The incident triggered a global outrage with calls for justice. A nature echoing with call for justice echoing i beg your pardon from different parts of the world it was gathered that before the shooting started some officials installed the closed cameras in the areas the electricity at the protest area was also disconnected to prevent demonstrators from filming the attack minutes later heavily armed nigerian Army personnel move into the scene to complete the plan. By the time sirens of the Agorans died down, dozens of protesters had been killed. Though Governor Babajide Samwolu blamed forces beyond our control for the attack, the army, in a statement, later revealed that the soldiers were invited to the scene of protest by the governor. Also, soldiers involved in the operation confirmed they were drafted in for the mission on the request of Governor Sangwolu. Angered by the killings by the army and the Lagos state government, suspected involvement in the massacre, angry residents attacked public properties and also destroying some known investment of a former governor of the state and the presidential candidate of the ruling or Progressive Congress, Bola Tenubu. Television, St. Neta, and the national newspaper are two among several investments burnt by irate youths. The tall plaza of the Lekki Ikoyi Link Bridge and another money spinner said to be controlled by the former Lagos governor was also burnt. Meanwhile, this has generated mixed reactions by Nigerians. Mr. Dati, that is a clear massacre. How unfortunate for governments to know that the people they govern don't think. Mr. Dati was trying to use the word massacre in a diplomatic way, so as not to affect some certain individuals. That was why he said it is debatable he never denied that there was no killings at Lekki to gates. This is in contrast with the position of the government that keep on saying there was no killings. Logically, Mr. Dati 
affirmed the position of the youth. Not every killing can be said to be massacre. He agrees that there was killing, but that of massacre is debatable. His right will be that tea and truthful we are. Hmm. Some people only don't understand or they only read headlines then begin to type rubbish. Okay, let me take it again. Some people only read headlines then begin to type rubbish. He said the use of the word massacre is debatable, meaning he is still in doubt today because it does not want to say the truth. They are based of same feathers. Shawari is different one. It is wrong notion to believe that Bidati will turn a new page for the youth of Nigeria. He cannot answer Okoikolo questions correctly. Clarification does not reflect the actual intelligence. What is wrong with these Sahara reporters at times? They are twisting what this man have just said. Nigerians keep on talking. Go back to your village and protest. Lagos for peace. Peace for Eurobars. These people should not make me return my vote back to my pocket. It's only people who believe in men that make this kind of statement. Any reasonable man must doubt what a lot of callable people can call lucky massacre unless you are economic with the truth. I just view it as a, a friction of some people. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.